Let us consider one example of given graph on which we will be executing our Warshall's algorithm to find the path matrix. See, so this is my graph given. This is one of the graphs we have got. There is a directed graph and here we are having four nodes actually. So, x, y, z and w. So, from this particular, from this particular graph's adjacency matrix, we are going to form our path matrix in this way. So, path matrix is something like this one. So, from the adjacency matrix, we are getting the path matrix like this. So, now this path matrix depicts that from x to y, there is no path. From x to z, there is no path. From z to y, there is no path, but there is a path from z to w. And if you go, if you trace this particular graph, you will be getting this one highly logical. I am just showing uh, one or two examples such y to x that is a path let me go for y to x yes that is a path y to z that is a path let me check yes y to z that is a path there is no path from y to y yes there is no self loop there is no path from z to y so z to y yes from z to y i cannot move so this particular matrix is very much logical now we are going to take each and every node as intermediate one to generate more paths. So now if you go for Px, if you go for Px, you see almost the same matrix we are getting. So Px could not change anything. Okay, let me check one. So I'm just uh, for the sake of simplicity, I'm just taking this one as an example. So okay, so z to y, z to y is 0. So z to y is 0 means there is no direct path between z to y. So z to y, we are having 0. So now here we are taking this x as the intermediate. So I am taking this x as the intermediate. So I shall calculate this z to x. So z to x is 1. So I am highly optimistic that we are going to get another parallel path. But from x to y, from x to y we are getting 0. So if you take the and, it is 0. 1 and 0 is equal to 0. And 0 or 0 is equal to 0. So that is why this value is still with 0. Similarly, we are taking this y as intermediate, we have formed this one. Always remember, from here we are forming this, from here we are forming this, from here we are forming this, and from here we are forming this. So that the last contribution will remain survive there. Okay, now see. So let us consider this one. I am observing one change here. I am observing one change. I am considering this one. What is this? That is WW. So, that is a WW. Okay. So, from WW, we are having no path. Okay. Now, what is the intermediate one? Here, the intermediate one is Z. Intermediate one is Z. So, I am coming to Z and Z to W. So, let me, let me check. So, W to Z, okay, for this one. So, W to Z is 1 and Z to W, Z to W is also 1. So, 1, 1. So now just go for 1, 1. So 1 and 1 is 1 and 1 or 0 is equal to 1. So that is why WW this cell is having the value 1. So just consider this one now. Take this one as an example. So what is the intermediate node here? Through node that is a W. So X to Z, X to Z initially X to Z is 0. So that is no path. Now please come through W. X to W. So, x to w is 1. So, I am highly optimistic and then I am going for I am going for w to z. So, w to z is 1. So, it indicates that it will be 1. So, this is my final path matrix and that is the output that is the return from this Warshall's algorithm. So, in this way Warshall's algorithm can find the path matrix from the graphs adjacency matrix. So, now I think the algorithm is clear to you. And this particular example has cleared up your doubts and has brought some more clarity here. So I think now you are getting confidence on this Warshall's algorithm. Thanks for watching this video.